Hey guys, welcome back. First things first, I'm going to throw my hair back in a hair tie because if you're like me, your hair gets in your way and it creates a complete mess. Next thing, I'm going to be using a set of paintbrushes I got from Walmart for I think about $5. And the first thing I'm going to do is take that smallest detail brush out of the paint set and use the Wolf Face Art and Effects palette in the Skins Tone. And I'm just going to be taking the darkest color in the palette and I'm going to be taking it and drawing a line across my face. This is going to represent the top of the mask and it's going to give you a guideline as to where to fill in and color. Uh, next step is you're taking that same dark color and you're going to create the holes in the mask. There's eight total. There's three on each side of your face and two on your chin. So next I took the larger paintbrush out of the set and I combined the two tan colors, the light tan and the dark tan in the palette, combined the two and I started painting that color for the mask. And right about now I realized that I forgot to paint the most important part which is the actual hole where his mouth sees through. So I'm just going to go back in with the small detail brush and that same dark brown shade from the palette and create a rectangle around the mouth part. Um, in Hannibal's mask he has three bars going down so you're also going to do that and paint with that same dark brown color the three bars in the mouth part of the mask. Then I'm going to go back in with that same larger paintbrush and continue to combine those two colors and just fill in the rest of the mask going around the outline details of the holes and the mouth. Oh, this takes forever. Um, if you're like me, I'm sorry about this. Um, I have OCD, so it's kind of, I don't like painting over the lines that I already have and it really frustrates me. So I tend to take my time. Um, if that doesn't bother you, then you can go ahead and color it in as fast as you want. But for me, it's a process that takes a little bit longer. Next, I'm going to take the light tan color out of the Skin Tones palette with that same detail brush we used to make the line of the mask and the holes. And we're just going to outline the holes in the mask. This is just going to give the holes a little bit more depth. And make it stand out so it doesn't look like it's just a painting on your face. Oh, Once again, sorry guys, my OCD took over. Need to make sure those lines are really good. I'm gonna go back in and take this dark brown color again and with the small detail brush we're just going to outline the rest of the mask starting from one side going around it the bottom all the way up to the other side. You want to make sure the line is thick enough to see but it's not too thick. Next I'm going to be taking a contour palette I have and taking the highlighter out of it and just putting it on different parts of the mask where I feel the light would be hitting it to create a shine. The highlight is really good because it gives you the leather like texture look of the mask and as you can see here I'm just putting on my nose a little bit on the top parts of my cheeks where the mask starts and on my chin. Um, again this is just going to give the reflection of where the light would be hitting the mask. Next, I'm going to be taking the same contour palette and taking the contour color. I'm going to be using that to fill in the mouth part around the edges. Again, this is going to give you the depth um, and the illusion that it is a mask sitting on your face and not just a painting on your face. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and go get that dark brown color again from the uh, Wolf palette and darken the detail around the mask because you don't want the powdered makeup to overpower the actual face paint. You want to make sure you can see all of those details still. Mm -hmm. 
Then I'm taking that same contour color out of the contouring palette and I'm shading just above the top part of the mask. This is going to give the shadow underneath the mask to help uh, show the illusion of the mask actually sitting on your face. Um, again, for this part, I use brown, um, but it would look a lot better if you use a black eyeshadow of some sort to create that, that shadow effect. But at the time I recorded this video, I didn't have any black eyeshadow, but the brown worked for the effect that I was looking for. But the black eyeshadow would work just as good. And we're going to go ahead and darken the outline on the top. And this is the final look for my Hannibal Lecter mask. If you guys like this tutorial, like and subscribe. If you have any comments, let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, any requests of future videos that you would like to see. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. See you later.